The railway and roads in Taipei City formed multiple level crossings, causing severe traffic congestion. In 1983, the Ministry of Transportation and Communications decided to underground the railway in Taipei City. The Taipei Urban District Railway Underground Project was carried out in four phases. The first phase, the Taipei Project, started in 1983 and was completed in 1989. The second phase, the Songyan Project, started in 1989 and was completed in 1997. The third phase, the Wanbam Project, started in 1992 and was completed in 2003. The fourth phase, the Nangang Project, started in 1998 and was completed in 2011. In the last episode, the first phase and the second phase were introduced. This episode will continue with the Wanbam Project, which involved undergrounding the railway between Wanhua Station and Banqia Station. The project scope extended from Baymen to Shulin Marshalling Yard, covering a total length of 15.38 kilometers, with approximately 9 kilometers of tunnel. The North Tunnel was completed on July 21, 1999, and the South Tunnel was completed on October 31, 2002. The Wanban project construction includes the addition of a double-track tunnel between Taipei and Wanhua, the undergrounding of Wanhua Station, the construction of two double-track tunnels between Wanhua and Banqiao along Dogwan Road, the use of the original railway tunnel space for the construction of Banka Boulevard and Sienmin Boulevard, the construction of a new river-crossing tunnel beneath the Xindian River, the construction of Kwasue Bridge, the construction of the Wanhua Banqiao Main Road, the construction of the new Banqiao Station, the renovation of Shulin Station, and the construction of the Shulin Marshalling Yard. Before the construction of the Wanbam Project, there was a narrow-gauge railway tunnel under Zhonghua Road on the west side of the original Zhonghua Shopping Yard. As part of the Wanbam Project, an additional standard-gauge high-speed railway tunnel was constructed under the original railway on Zhonghua Road. This tunnel, located between Taipei and Wanhua, is a double-track tunnel with a total length of 1.82 kilometers. Subsequently, the Zhonghua Shopping Yard was demolished to accommodate the project, and Zhonghua Road was transformed into an 80-meter-wide tree-lined boulevard. The Wanban project divided Wanhua Station into two buildings, one on the east and one on the west, and moved the station underground. It was officially opened in July 1999. The station structure consists of one underground floor and two above-ground floors, with foundations reserved for the development of floors 3 to 20 for future BOT joint development projects. The station area was developed into the 26-meter-wide Wanban Boulevard, connecting Wanda Road and Kongding Road, and aligned with the Taipei City Government's Ximen Wanhua area. Redevelopment plan, creating a gateway image for Wanhua. The Wanhua Twin Towers BOT project commenced in 2014 and was completed in 2017. The East Station is a building with one underground floor and 16 above-ground floors, while the West Station has one underground floor and 26 above-ground floors. The main station structure consists of one underground floor and two above-ground floors. Floors above the second level are designated for use by government administrative departments and hotels. The Wanban project involved the construction of two double-track tunnels between Wanhua and Banqiao along Dogwan Road, each 7 kilometers long. The railway land has an average width of about 17 meters. Along the north side of the route, an 8-meter-wide urban planning road was established, and on the south side, a 5-meter-wide green belt was created. This provides a total width of 30 meters, allowing for tunnel construction and the building of elevated roads. The Xindian River Crossing River Tunnel Project of the Wanban Project is located between the Shuangyuan Levy in Taipei City and the Zhongyuan Levy in Banqiao. Two 520-meter-long double-track tunnels were constructed beneath the existing railway. The north and south tunnels of the Xindian River Crossing River Tunnel were constructed simultaneously, beginning on December 16, 1993. The excavation depth was approximately 23 meters underground. After completing the underground tunnels, 
the Shuangyuanzhong Yuan Levy, integrated with the tunnel structure, was built. The construction period was 43 months, and the project was completed at the end of October 1996. The construction procedure of the Xindian River Crossing River Tunnel involved first constructing a 140-meter long cofferdam at the Banqiao end and dredging at the Taipei end to maintain the water flow cross-section. Open-cut tunnel construction was then carried out. After removing the first cofferdam and dredging, a second cofferdam, 155 meters long, was constructed at the Taipei end, followed by open-cut tunnel construction. The second cofferdam was then removed, restoring the original river cross-section and providing riverbed protection. The Wanwabanxiao arterial road construction in the Wanban project involved relocating the railway underground and constructing surface or express roads on the land above the tunnel. The Xindian River Railway Bridge was converted into a road bridge. The Wanwabanxiao arterial road, from Guangzhou Street to Nanya South Road in Banxiao, has a total length of 6.8 kilometers, including 2.4 kilometers of elevated road and 4.4 kilometers of surface road. Huatsue Bridge is a project within the Wanban project. It officially commenced on September 15, 1999, and was completed on July 14, 2001. The project involved converting the original Xindian River Railway Bridge into a road bridge. The original substructure of the railway bridge was retained, the old concrete pre-stressed beams were removed, and steel box beams were used instead. The bridge deck was widened to a four-lane, two-way road for use as a road bridge. Huatsue Bridge Project starts from Huanha South Road in Taipei City in the east and ends at Wanan Street in Banqiao in the west. It spans from the Shuangyuan Levy in Taipei City to the Zhongyuan Levy in Banqiao, with a total length of 654 meters. The river crossing section is approximately 500 meters, and the floodplain section is about 154 meters. After the railway was underground as part of the Wanban project, Watsue Bridge became the main connecting bridge between Wanhua Station and the new Banqiao Station. Watsue Bridge is an elevated road that connects Zhonghua Road and Banka Boulevard in Taipei City with Xianmin Boulevard, and the new Banqiao Station Special Zone in New Taipei City. After its opening, Watsue Bridge has had high usage and smooth traffic flow. It has alleviated the rush hour congestion on Guangfu Bridge and Huajiang Bridge, increased the land utilization value in the surrounding areas, and improved the quality of life for local residents. The rationale for constructing the new Banqiao Station within the Wanban project stemmed from the old Banqiao Station's daily passenger volume of up to 60,000 people, making it a first-class station of Taiwan Railways, second only to Taipei Main Station. The area around the old Banqiao Station was congested, and the station's limited site of approximately 3 hectares could not accommodate the land requirements for new facilities. Therefore, the new station was relocated to the land of the Banqiao Coachyard and part of the liquor factory built during the first phase of the project. Additionally, 48 hectares of land between Wenhua Road, Hanqing East Road, Suyun Road, Minzu Road, and Minquan Road were planned as the Banqiao New Station Special District. The process of expanding Shulin Station within the Wanban project is as follows. Shulin Station was originally built on September 7, 1941, as an old brick station building. Due to the increasing number of passengers, the waiting room of the old station was expanded on August 16, 1988. The old station building was demolished on July 27, 1994, and a temporary station was used. The new station building was inaugurated on September 27, 1998. Shulin Station officially replaced Banqiao Station as the terminal station for all Taiwan Railway Eastern Line trains. The Shulin Marshalling Yard, constructed as part of the Wanban project, is located approximately 2 kilometers south of Shulin Station, adjacent to the Western Trunk Line mainline. It was inaugurated on March 14, 1997, covering an area of 14.5 hectares, and replaced the original Banqiao coach yard. This facility provides functions such as vehicle marshalling, maintenance, preparation, and car washing for the Eastern Trunk Line trains. 
It also introduced the most advanced station electronic interlocking signal system technology and equipment, responsible for the dispatching and preparation operations of various levels of trains on the eastern trunk line. South Shulin Station is located south of Shulin Station. Construction began in 2009, and it was inaugurated at the end of 2015. Initially, it was the outer track of the Shulin Marshalling Yard, which had an employee platform. That was not accessible to the general public. The planning for this station originated from the Taiwan Railway's metroization policy at that time. The Wanban project construction spanned 10 years. On July 20, 1999, a ceremony was held for the opening of the Taiwan Railway Tunnel, and track switching operations were conducted that night. Starting from 6 a.m. on July 21, 1999, all Taiwan railway trains began operating within the tunnel, completing the railway undergrounding between Wanhua and Banxiao. The first generation of Banxiao Station was established on August 25, 1901. Due to the railway rerouting through Haishenku, a simple station pavilion was set up in the old town area, and it was called Fangxiao at that time. The second generation of Banqiao Station was rebuilt in 1922 into a larger wooden station building. In 1951, it was reconstructed as a new brick station building. In 1985, the Banqiao Coach Yard was inaugurated, serving as the starting station for Eastern Trunk Line trains. The construction of the third generation of Banqiao Station was part of the Wanban project. In 1995, an underground station building was built on the site of the original Banqiao Coach Yard and the former Banqiao Liquor Factory. A temporary station spanning the tracks was inaugurated in 1996. The third generation station was officially completed and opened on July 21, 1999, which is the current Banqiao Station. The main structure of Banqiao Station is a building with 25 above-ground floors and 5 underground floors, with a total floor area of over 300,000 square meters. The building height is 116.8 meters, and the excavation depth is 25 meters. It is the second tallest station building in Taiwan. The station integrates Taiwan Railways, High Speed Rail, the Bannon Line and Circular Line of the MRT, combining multiple functions including transportation, commerce, and culture. The first floor above ground is the concourse level, with three entrances on both the south and north sides. There is one entrance on the west side adjacent to the Banqiao bus station and two entrances on the east side adjacent to the Banqiao coach station. MRT exits 1, 2, and 3 are located in the Bannon Line station building while exits 4 and 5 are in the Circular Line Station building. Exit 5 connects to the Xinjian Road underpass, providing access to Wenhua Road, Mega City, Taiwan Railways, High Speed Rail, and the Bannon Line Station. Inside the concourse, there are Taiwan Railways ticketing, automatic ticketing, a travel service center, and a shopping street. The second floor is a shopping area, featuring the Banqiao branch of Global Mall and Skywalks on the east and west sides. The West Skywalk connects to the city bus transit station and extends to nearby shopping malls. The East Skywalk connects to the station concourse of the MRT Circular Line, floors 3 to 23 house offices for the Railway Bureau and the High Speed Rail Bureau, while floors 24 and 25 are occupied by the Global Fitness Center. The first underground floor is the concourse level, featuring high-speed rail ticketing, automatic ticketing, high-speed rail and Taiwan Railways waiting rooms, ticket gates, and the Banqiao branch of Global Mall. It connects to the passage level of the MRT Bannon Line and the connecting level of the MRT Circular Line. The second underground floor houses the platforms for Taiwan Railways and high-speed rail. The Wanban project not only connected Kongding Road and Wanda Road, making external transportation in the Wanhua area more convenient, 
but also solved the traffic congestion problem on Wendhua Road in Banqiao by constructing Huatsue Bridge and the Xianmen Boulevard Expressway. The newly built Banqiao Station, which integrates MRT, high-speed rail, and short, medium, and long-distance bus networks, along with the opening of the new Taipei City Government Building, facilitated the formation of the new Banqiao Special District. This area has become a hub for transportation, commerce, culture, and administration in new Taipei City, injecting new energy into the city's transformation and growth. As we enjoy the convenience of improved transportation, we should sincerely appreciate the efforts and hard work of all the engineering personnel. In the next part, we will introduce the fourth phase of the Taipei Urban District Railway Underground Project, the Nangang Project. Stay tuned!